What's up guys, Frey here. It's the next day now. I'm out here with Tyler today. We are fishing this huge river right now. Right now we're just multi-species fishing. We've got some baits out on the bottom, fishing for whatever bites, but hopefully we're gonna get something really big. We're prepared for some really big fish out here, so just gonna wait for a bite out here. I'd give her a shot. Give her a shot, all right. Hell no. We missed our first bite. I'll get back out there. Ah, uh, yeah. Is that still recording? All we're doing is fishing about as basic as it gets. Nightcrawler, bell sinker, just flipping it out there. Nice. Multi-species day. That thing actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, looks like a big roach. Yeah, it's golden. That's a big hook for that, dude. All right, give him the toss. All right guys, first cast center pinning. I'm hooked up to a tank smallie. This was such like a where's my bobber moment. I wasn't even looking at it and it was just gone. Oh, it's a pig, dude. <laughs> if that hook pops out, it's hit me in the face. Oh, that is a pig, dude. That's a bruiser. It's not as big as I thought, but it's a freaking tank anyway. Oh yeah, for a river fish too, dude, in the middle of summer. That's a gorgeous smallie. Look at the colors on that. On a night crawler, classic. Locked on a giant sturgeon, guys. Finally hooked up, huge sturgeon. Get the big net. Can you net this thing by yourself? Big net, oh yeah. Yeah, baby. That is very cute. That thing looks so cool. Okay, right? <laughs> oh, he blends in so good. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, dude! Just lost a big sturgeon. You had him too. Oh my god! No! 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 Go for a run. All right guys, so we fished that spot from shore hard. We lost two huge sturgeon, but we did catch the one little one. Anyways, we're in the kayaks now. Gonna be exploring, maybe hitting the other side of the river, maybe fishing downstream around the bridge and stuff. Hoping to catch a sturgeon. We're gonna put in our best effort. Just really wanna catch one of those big fish. To just hook one was so exciting. If we could get one in the net, that would be a dream come true. We're hooked up. What's going on? I don't, I don't even know how this... Kayak fishing expert. Tyler Flynn with the walleye. On the anchor, go. Oh my god! Was that a huge sturgeon? Yeah, dude, it was like a freaking four footer. That was so loud. Yeah, it's another walleye, it's got a blue fin again. Sweet, man. Yeah, baby. Finally locked up on a big fish. No jokes this time. This one was actually huge. This is a Great Lakes downrigger rod. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's either a, a, a decent sturgeon or a monster catfish. This is a catfish. It's freaking huge. Dude. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, nice sturgeon. Dude. Yeah. That's, yeah. Hold up, hold up. Hey, you want to put a head in the net? Yep. Got it. Right there, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Just got this beautiful sturgeon. It's probably about 34 to 36 inches. Such a cool fish, man. Yep. We got a catch immediate release on these fish though, so got some pictures, we'll let her go. Will they give a hard kick or are they just, oh, yep. Off he goes. Nice work, man. We literally fished all day. Finally got oh, one. Good. Hell yeah. It must be big because it ran so fast back. Finally hooked up. We have been out here forever. It's got to be a nice sturgeon. I don't think it's a giant. Came in pretty quick, but um, it's heavy. It's heavy. 
Dude, it's heavy. It's really heavy. Oh my god. I know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Hold on. Dude, I'm so scared. Oh, dude, I'm so scared. I think the drag is set just right, though. Oh my god, I haven't seen it yet. Yes! Yeah, yeah baby. Oh my god. What we came here for? I got powdered sugar on my hands. <laughs> oh yeah. man, please let this fish come in. Oh, I saw it. It's not that big. It's right here. It yeah, it's a good size sturgeon. Like mine, probably? Yeah, similar. Oh, sh Oh, yes! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god. Yes! Yes! <laughs> hell yeah! Dude, look at, look at, look what at is that? that? It's a sturgeon! What the hell oh. is it doing? <laughs> Dude, that's freaking crazy! Holy crap! Alrighty, we freaking I'm done it! Alright guys, I'm soaking wet. Just accidentally released that fish. It literally just beat the crap out of me right here. It was so big. But I got tons of pictures, so you guys will see what the fish looked like and stuff. But you guys saw the fight too. That was awesome. We've been out here since basically sunrise. I don't know how many hours that is. What, like seven, eight? We've been out here just fishing. Just waiting for that bite, waiting for it. And I finally got it. Real grind, but it feels so good to get that fish. So good to see it swim off. This is a really awesome fishery. Thank you so much to Tyler for getting me on my first sturgeon. That was just absolutely awesome. Blackberries. I'm practically in a survival situation right now, so I'm gonna eat them. They have super good flavor, those are really good. All right guys, wrapping up the sturgeon fishing video. That was absolutely an awesome experience to be able to target those fish. Those big prehistoric fish in that river. Big thanks again to Tyler for showing me how it's done. I'm so grateful I was finally able to hook a fish right at the end. Literally fished all day right at the end. Got the fish I was looking for. So that was really an awesome experience. Now I'm moving on to the next thing. But for now, just out here in the middle of the woods right now, I got a fire going. Gonna be cooking up some fish, some of the leftover fish, the other filet from that Atlantic, and then one of the walleye filets. Just gonna cook it up for dinner because I wanna explain a little something before I end this video about my situation on this trip. The trip has been going really well. I'm checking off all the goals that I wanna do, but I have a really tricky situation right now where I'm literally broke. I have no money because my paycheck is in my account, but the bank put a two day hold on it. So I'm literally kind of stranded out here with no money. Just spent the rest of my money on gas. So I have the money to get to the next destination, but not to camp not to buy any food or anything. So I'm literally depending on these fish back here and a couple groceries that I bought. So that's why basically just eating plain fish for dinner, eating bread for lunch, stuff like that. It's kind of a struggle, but it's my fault. I put myself in this situation and in a couple days I'll have the money. But for now, I'm gonna finish up cooking my meal out here and eat some delicious fresh fish. Here's our beautiful meal, guys. It's dark, but um, got one filet of Atlantic salmon. The other one from the fish I caught, and um, it's got some salt on it, and spray, that's pretty much it. And this one, just some battered walleye. Just gonna put them on the fire, and hopefully they'll be good. All right guys, check out the results. Walleye, a little bit overcooked, but it's gonna be crispy and delicious. Then the salmon, perfectly cooked. This is gonna taste great. I'm gonna have to eat it in the dark though, because the mosquitoes are gonna come get me out here. Mosquitoes got so bad, I brought all my fish in the car. Look at this huge plate of fish. It's like a gourmet meal for me, considering the circumstances. Here's some walleye right here. Definitely overcooked the walleye, but walleye is always good. You can screw up and walleye can still taste good. Here's the salmon, which I did a lot better on. It's nice and flaky. There's a little piece of it there. Got mosquitoes in here. That salmon is just such an, oh my freaking God. That salmon is just such a high quality piece of fish. All I put on here is literally just salt and it's delicious. I got mosquitoes all over in here. 
this is gonna be a long night. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this awesome fishing trip and this quick little catch and cook at the end. Tomorrow is going to be an awesome day and the next day, too. Got some really cool stuff planned, so definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.